Ah, oh look we have visitors. Welcome! Uh, hope you like the new digs, which I'm pretty sure it's the same as the old digs, except for the door. Woo! Moving up in the world we are. Uh, oh yeah, and the fireplace, can't forget that. We're gonna need that if we're not gonna freeze to death in the winter. So much for that whole global warming shite. Um, oh wait, the science isn't aligned with the scientists this time around, as if it ever was, so now we have to bullshit the English language and rebrand it as climate change, which sounds so much like a pretentious wanker's way of saying seasons. None of that is gonna matter though if we keep trying to globalize fucking Chernobyl. I for one welcome nuclear arm again. Cause Joe Biden is a total dumbass. Hardly a revelation now is it, but I do want to point out one of his lesser spoken bad qualities. No, having said that, he doesn't have any redeeming good qualities at all. He was an unimpressive specimen in his heyday, and he continues to be an unimpressive one now. He's done nothing right since, uh, attaining office, shall we say, a typhoon of twattery he is as the media is desperately trying to sell it to the public that he is somehow the bloke in charge, which doesn't help that whenever he utters a thought not prescripted while higher than his crackered offspring, the aides do damage control and the media relays a message that he did not in fact mean that, further adding credibility to those who believe he isn't the guy steering the ship. Like I said before, I don't know what's more terrifying, that he isn't the one in charge, or that if he was, it would all somehow be worse, and we're back to the malice versus stupidity coin flip. Now, what I want to discuss here is the man's massive fucking ego with regards to his recent kerfuffle with the Saudis. Now, when it comes to the Saudis, they are a Westerner's favorite whipping boy when it comes to fawning for feminism. All of this BS about Saudi Arabia and their women oppression, all of that, even though the plebs who spout the shite have never met a Saudi woman, let alone spoken to one. Unlike myself, I've spoken to several, and believe me, they weren't exactly frothing at the mouth with bursting ovaries to get a taste of Western feminism. Many of them think Western women are disgusting and gross with no standards, and they would be correct in this assumption. Not to mention all the cliched shite about Saudi Arabia is nothing but a pathetic virtue signaling posture as any politician would happily do business with all manner of anti-Western regimes if it means they could line their own pockets full of green, so spare me the pretense and fuck off. The point I'm trying to make here, gentlemen, is if you're considered chauvinistic and proudly male, find yourself an Arabic woman, they'd respect you for it. Now, to explain the long and short of the situation, I'll give a TLD out. See, when Trump was in power, America was self-sufficient, energy independent, and the way to hamstring someone who's making a sizable chunk of change from the exportation of resources is to flood the market with a higher supply of that very resource, thereby reducing the price. Basic market principles, you would think. Then, of course, Biden gets in and, being the complete retard that he is, decides to decimate America's domestic energy production as the economy is beginning to resume full strength in the wake of the coup, which sends the cost of living sky high. And, being a typical Democrat, he blames the self-inflicted act of stupidity on his predecessor and foreigners. Isn't it funny it's called the Putin price hikes when the price of petrol is rising and Biden seemingly can't do anything about it, but sing his praises when it goes down because somehow he's responsible for that? Hmm. I get the impression Biden is full of shit, seeing as he has leased the fewest acres for oil and gas of any president since the Second World War. And naturally, being the pathetic weasel that he is, he goes begging cup in hand like a fucking peasant to the worst offenders around the world to produce more oil. So much for the whole global effort of going green. But anyway, this leads us to the Saudis. Now, you will recall several years ago, Biden proclaimed that he would make the Saudis a pariah, saying there is very little social redeeming value in the present government in Saudi Arabia. Unlike his family, of course, which is totally respectful of all women. Several months ago, they did not take Biden's calls, pretty sure neither did the UAE for that matter, but they did take Putin's calls. And of course, the media lost their marbles over this. I did it because it doesn't take a genius to see why. So after Joe Biden apparently wagged his finger at the Saudis for not producing more petrol, and in fact saying they're going to cut production, he threatened them. Now, I was reading some of this in a New York Post article, and this paragraph here cracked me up. For a purported statesman, he is decidedly ignorant about the geopolitics of fossil fuels. OPEC is not our friend and not our ally. The cartel was created in 1960 for the explicit purpose of challenging and defeating America's oil industry. President Jimmy Carter was just as naive thinking OPEC would respond to reason or diplomacy. <laughs> reason and diplomacy, you say. Now, I'm not going to do this because I'm a monarchist, but I'm going to defend the House of Saad. Not from a purely political perspective, mind you, but rather from a masculine, man-to-man -man perspective of dealing with an asshole such as Biden. Because this whole episode shows you just how much of a disgusting piece of shit 
Joe Biden really is. He insults the Saudis, hampers his own domestic energy production, begs other people to bandage a wound he inflicted on himself. He pulled back on some of the Trump rhetoric which emboldened the Yemeni forces, tells them if they don't do as he says, he'll threaten them. And then you wonder why they don't respond to reason and diplomacy. You must be fucking kidding me. The gall of this lifeless ghoul is astonishing. So naturally, in the wake of Biden threatening them, the Saudis revealed Biden told them to wait till after the midterms to gut the production output. And then, of course, the media screams hysterically about Saudi's election interference, even as he was the one who told them what to do. I saw one comment on RCP that said, funny that, when the Saudis go against Biden's demand, it's election interference. But when they do do something that favors him, oh, then mum's the word. So Biden doesn't even give a fuck about finding a long-term solution or how this will impact the average American. No, no, no. He only told the Saudis to stall the move till after the midterms. He only went there to save his own fucking neck. This is who he is, a barely walking epitome of everything that is wrong with a politician. A stupid, self-centered, conceited asshole. Fuck Joe Biden. And that is all for today. Cheers for watching, and I will see you all next time.